Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for July 20th, 2022. Well, my goodness, yesterday those bulls had a good day yesterday, slicing through price resistance levels as if it didn't even matter. But there may be another side to this story yet to come. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, I've been mentioning over and over and over about the downtrend here in the chart, and take a look at that. We punched through that downtrend yesterday in a very, very strong move that was a complete reversal of the night before. Um, not really much of anything had changed, but we suddenly had the inspiration to reverse and push um, um, way higher. Uh, the Dow itself, the Dow itself is up more than 1,700 points in just one, two, three, four days. So we're, want, we're going to want to pay attention to that and realize that even though this is a very bullish move that we had yesterday, that we may be stretching out here just a little bit too far too fast. We still can't rule out that whole idea of the fear of missing out inspiring more buyers, but we should be watching for that potential that we could see a little bit of profit taking coming into play. So let's watch um, this carefully up here as we <clears throat> continue to push on up toward resistance, additional resistance levels in the chart. We'll want to pay pretty close attention to that. Um, I think the major resistance level that we see, that I see in the chart, is all the way up here. So we still, again, could rally more here in the Dow. Um, keeping in mind that we've held that little bit of a higher low. We broke this resistance yesterday, broke that downtrend, and even on our technicals, ticked above the 50-day moving average. But remember, it's awesome to push above the 50-day. What's more important is can we hold the 50-day as support? So watch that carefully. If we can pull back and hold in here or consolidate in here and hold, that's awesome. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see another one of those complete reversals like we had right here where all of a sudden uh, the bears come back in and push us back down below. So watch that carefully and closely. If we take a look at our SPY, very similar situation in the SPY. spy we spiked up here um, really strongly. Um, unfortunately, we just barely peeked out from um, underneath that downtrend resistance in the chart. We did, however, break this resistance ever so slightly, and we continue to push up into higher resistance levels in the SPY, keeping in mind that we have this little tiny uptrend in place. We're kind of in a wedging pattern um, and what's going to be important once again after kind of peeking through that 50-day moving average at the close will it be enough for us to hold that up here or will we happen to see the bears defend this area up here and maybe push us back down so watch that closely a little bit of profit taking after such a big run up Probably shouldn't be a major surprise, but at the same time, that crowd out there right now, that fear of missing out in the in, the unbelievable um, uh, expectations that earnings are just gonna be fantastic, kind of surprises me. Um, I'm not saying that they're not right, it's just a surprise to me considering the condition of the overall market. If we take a look at the QQQ, QQQ had a nice move up as well. Um, well, doggone it. Unfortunately, if we if we take a look in here, we broke that downtrend. If we take a look across here, we broke that downtrend. And we continued this nice little rising uptrend. We broke through this resistance in the chart. So you're going to have to give this one up to the bulls 
pretty well because they have done a good job here and there is tremendous speculation around big tech earnings right now. So be very, very careful here. I was looking at some bear call credit spreads yesterday. I didn't actually end up getting filled um, on that, but I was looking at the QQQ and chose not to go there because I think the speculation here in in the NASDAQ is so high that, well, we saw it in um, Netflix last night. Netflix um, lost about a million sub subscribers. They were saying they might lose as many as 2 million subscribers. Their um, revenues came in below estimates, but that didn't matter. It was just a reason for uh, the bulls to buy. And uh, quarter over quarter on a yearly basis, um, big, big change in Netflix. But right now we don't care about that. Um, we're just all about buying something and just really being defiant about the overall market condition. And that's okay. That can happen for a while. And can they break these resistance levels and hold support levels? That's yet to be seen. Now, let's take a look at our technicals here in our chart. We broke above that 50-day moving average. So once again, we need to uh, catch that proof that we can hold this up here, hang on, hold on to this trend, and continue that fight to the upside. So watch that carefully and closely. There certainly is that possibility developing here in the market for those bulls. If we take a look at the Russell IWM, very same situation where we... We're still running those higher highs. We broke the resistance in the chart here. We pushed on through. And if we take a look at this downtrend, we're just barely pushing into that downtrend here in the IWM. So a little bit more maybe uncertainty here on the IWM. And if we look at our technicals, well, we still have a bullish case here that can be made breaking through that 50 day moving average. So the question will be if we rest or pull back, consolidate, can we hold above that 50 day moving average um, as earnings continue to roll out? And that's still maybe a little bit of a question here for the market. Now, as you can see here in the pre-market, we're actually seeing a little bit of a pullback um, on these right now. European markets were all green this morning. They have turned red with um, their um, inflation number coming in at 9.4%, a 40-year high over there in Europe. And they're continuing to deal with the worries that Russia will maintain their shutoff of energy over there. So um, some major concerns and European markets have reversed from green to red here this morning. And that has also played a little bit of a part of moving um, the Dow down here just a little bit. We'll look at some other factors that may be also affecting that little bit of bearishness coming in here this morning. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our VIX, interestingly enough, with a that huge move, a 700-point move in the Dow, and our VIX didn't change all that much. Kind of an interesting circumstance here. The VIX is acting very oddly, um, in my opinion. Now, we are below that 25 handle in the chart, which is a good sign. Um, we get below that 25 handle, we start to relax a little bit on that fear. This downtrend maintains itself in place, but then the question we'll have to um, uh, deal with here is if those bears do come in, will we pop up of this level of support and then challenge that uh, downtrend resistance again. So keep a close eye on that. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, whoops, there we go, our T2122, you can see that we're, we are pretty much pegged up here. Um, we did this um, just one day ago, uh, actually two days ago. We pegged up here at 100 on that big gap. And then by the end of the day, um, pulled way back, as you guys remember. And um, 
we're right back up here again. So T2122 is suggesting kind of an overextension in the short term and that possibility that we could get a little bit of a pullback. Now that doesn't mean we have to fall. What that means is that we could consolidate, we could have a some, uh, pullback uh, to test those 50 day moving average, we could rest and still get that, that T2122 to relieve just a little bit. And remember, we have experienced this recently where we held above here for a period of time so uh, just like this we can bounce around up here for a while so this doesn't necessarily mean that we collapse all the way back down it just means that we probably pushed things just a little bit too far too fast and we might need to take a breath the bulls might need to take a little breather and get get a drink of water before they can continue to push on through to the upside so watch that closely but it does also raise that question even though we can bounce around up here it doesn't mean that we have to if we find reason for bearishness it also tells us that we've opened a big opening to the downside with really not much um, opening to the upside here for today so watch that carefully if those bears do decide to come in um, i can't say that they're going to be aggressive but we should watch for that potential. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now T2107, um, although it had an improvement here, sorry, that went to a, a two day. Um, although we had an improvement here, um, it wasn't all that impressive. Uh, noticing that we're pressing into resistance levels here in the chart in T2107. But the good news is those bulls have stiffened up a bit. We we did not make those new lows. We did on an intraday basis, but then we, we pulled that right back up. And we still have to recognize this overall downtrend is still in place. So we've got a lot of work before we can really say, hey, we've turned the corner here on uh, T2107, um, but we have improved 90% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. If we look at our T2108, well, we had a better improvement there um, with a big strong pop here to the upside. Tech really doing quite a job in lifting the market here. So keep an eye on this downtrend and we have broken through this resistance level in the chart. So that's a good sign for the market. 45, almost 46% of the stocks back above their 40 day moving average. Now you can see we've done that before where we've powered through and then we find that resistance up here and pull back. So as we push up here, this is the, another one of those warnings guys, as we push up here, we may have extended this excitement just a little bit too far too fast. And then we do run that risk of um, a bit of a pullback. So watch that close. And then our T2101, it was interesting yesterday, um, we didn't get a big, um, uh, volume to really uh, push up above a 50 day moving average until right at the last few minutes of the day where we saw the dark pool activity being consolidated to the market. So you can see T2101 is perking up here, but again, I, I don't think we're getting the best of um, that indicator um, because if you'll notice right in here on the Dow, we're still relatively weak here on um, that volume, even though we rallied really strongly, our volume still remains quite weak. And SPY, QQQ remains quite weak um, here in um, the chart. So we may still have a little bit of work to do here before that T2101 starts to show us some better signals. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has a couple things on here that we're going to want to pay attention to. First off, we had mortgage applications this morning. Mortgage applications dropped sharply. We're at a 22 year low. Um, on mortgage applications, falling by 6.3% here um, on a week over week basis. And you can see not looking so good. Purchase index down 7.3% here um, as higher rates are um, um, seriously affecting demand of home buying. Now we'll wanna watch that number because that's gonna be important. That could play heavily into this number here, existing home sales 
this morning. Existing home sales are expected to come in, according to consensus, just ever so slightly lower than last month. Now, that'll be interesting if um, they happen to miss on that number. That that could bring those bears out a little bit stronger if that were to occur. So watch that closely. And then we have our petroleum status number. This is going to be important because we've seen petroleum um, starting to push back higher um, over um, $100 a barrel. So we'll want to watch that closely if we continue to see um, supply is running short, then we could certainly see that help support those energy prices. If supplies um, come in strong where we have plenty of supply, then that may bring those oil prices back down. So watch that close. And then keep in mind we have a 20 year bond auction and that could be important because we still maintain those bond inversions um, going on here uh, with the two year um, outpacing or outpricing those longer term bonds. And then as you plan forward, keep in mind Thursday, jobless claims and Philly Fed coming around the corner. So uh, pay attention to that as um, we gear up for the rest of the week. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we, oh shoot, we better look at um, the earnings. Um, earnings calendar today, we have about 30 companies that are going to um, be reporting. Some of the notables here this morning, um, we're going to hear from Abbott Labs. Looks like they're moving higher this morning. Uh, Biogen, um, this has been um, uh, a sector that's just been remarkable. Biotech has just been um, really, really strong. Biogen looks like a little bit of a whipsaw here in the pre-market. Uh, we're going to hear from uh, Kinder Morgan. Whoops, KMI. Um, so keep an eye on that. And probably the big one this afternoon is going to be Tesla. We'll want to be paying attention to Tesla this afternoon after the bell. If you want to click the uh, catch that full list of reports, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video and you can catch all of those notable reports for this morning. Let's take a look at some of those stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, um, as we do this, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. So you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me a favor, click that uh, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Now I apologize guys, I didn't get a chance to answer those um, responses yesterday because I lost internet. We had an internet outage here. Doggone it, there's not much worse that can happen to a trader during the day as their internet goes down, but we had that situation here yesterday. So I do apologize, but I'll be back on the case of answering those questions and answering those no, um, um, responses to the video today. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence. Make sure you're paying very, very close attention to the risk in these trades. And remember that the volatility of this market is remains very, very challenging. So if you, if you chase, if you overspend, if you um, overtrade this market, it can be very detrimental to your account. So make sure you understand the risk of every single trade. Chart that um, um, I wanted to bring up here first thing this morning is uh, Qualcomm. Qualcomm, really nice move here to the upside. Now I wouldn't chase this um, to this in this upside move. What I'd want to see now is that we have stretched through this resistance area in the chart is maybe a little bit of a rest or a little bit of pullback consolidation. We may meet this trend out here someplace and then look for that next opportunity to take a shot here into Qualcomm. Really strong move and we're starting to see some of these um, chip um, stocks um, really starting to perk up and it's a you know, kind of surprising it's taken so long for them to perk up, but they are starting to come around. Um, take a look at um, NXP, whoops. 
NXPI. NXPI is another one of those semiconductor charts that are moving up here pretty nicely. We still have a lot of resistance in this chart to, to worry about, but if you'll notice in here, we've ticked above that 50-day moving average. So what we want to see is we want to see this now kind of rest or consolidate this move. I expect we could get a bit of a pullback first and then we come back up and hold. I'm um, just kind of following along a trend there, but I would watch that closely. Again, some of these semiconductor stocks are really starting to come around here just a bit and um, might be worth keeping an eye on them. Um, NVIDIA, you probably heard um, um, the whole story of NVIDIA. Um, Nancy Pelosi's husband buying a great big position in this ahead of some uh, potential legislation um, on NVIDIA. But watch that closely. Here's another one of those semiconductors that have moved up, cracking through that 50, maybe looking for a little bit of a hold in here and that next opportunity to the upside. So keep an eye on some of those. On the... Um, on the other side, as you guys know, I've been talking about um, uh, Etsy. Um, I, I got a man, I can't type this morning. Um, um, Etsy, Etsy is a beautiful little pattern here. Notice we're following this upside trend. Watch this in here. I wouldn't rule out the possibility of a little bit more rest, but keep an eye on Etsy. That's looking good. As you guys know, I've talked about UPS um, as a potential buy point. Um, UPS popping through yesterday, looking good. Now, again, don't rule out the possibility that we may have, if you see this trend here, that we may have to deal with this resistance in the chart with a little bit of pullback or rest, but keep an eye on UPS. If we really are going to be strong if the consumers are um, seeing no problem with this market then we're going to get a lot of shipping um, coming into play so watch that close so there's a few stocks for you to look at today i'm running a little bit long um, i want to wish you guys a fantastic day um, i truly truly appreciate your kind support to this channel um, it does take it does take a lot of time to put these videos together and, and get them out there, but um, um, your support of this channel, your support and the kind words that you leave on these videos um, makes it all worthwhile uh, getting up um, early in the morning to get them done. So thank you so much, everyone. I want to wish you all the very best today, and I will see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care.